This conference will now be recorded. Today, we will go through business consolidation with group reporting as for HANA 2023 version overview. So we will go through entire legal consolidation overview. So when we talk about legal consolidation, there are two roles. One is local accountant. Another one is group accountant. So what are the tasks performed by this local accountant? What are the tasks performed by group accountant? These two things we are going to understand. So I'm not, uh, I will cover only local accountant and group accountant task. So ICMR, I mean, intercompany matching and reconciliation, I will not uh, go through now. Also management consolidation, I will not go through now. Later we will go through that. So today I just planned legal consolidation overview. How the local accountant, group accountant can perform their activities. This exercise we are going to perform in 2023 version. It's the latest uh, Esperhana version as you know. So this is the front end uh, for the end users, business users. So it's basically Fury. Yeah, this is the Fury screen. So currently in 2023, so the Fury groups are arranged in this uh, into administration, auditing, group reporting. So different theory groups they created and every theory group you have some subgroups. So whenever the end user, so uh, uh, we are going to discuss end user tasks. Yeah, whatever we are performing now, how to configure those tasks, how to customize those tasks. That's what we are going to learn in the future sessions. Today as an end user after going live, how the business user is going to execute the system. That's the main objective. So first we need to, the local accountant starts his work. Yeah, when, when he starts his work, first he has to set the global parameters. Global parameters in the sense whether they want to consolidate IFRS based on IFRS or US, US GAAP. So cons legal consolidation can happen in different accounting standards like IFRS or US GAAP. So first they have to decide which one they want to start. So in this global parameters, they have to set those settings. So I, 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 there will be a version. So each accounting standard is rep represented by one version. So IFRS, I do in one version, US gap, I do in another version. So U00 is the version I'm, I'm going to consolidate and fiscal year 2022, the year 12. So this is my consolidation period and also it's my first consolidation period. And this consolidation chart of accounts, we have to use Y1. So we, we set, I set Y1. Good. In order to the local accountant, first he's going to ta start his task. So the local accountant tasks are listed in data monitor. This is data monitor in the data monitor, whatever local accountant, when I say local accountant, the person who is going to execute or close each company's books. Yeah, company books. Company is equivalent to consolidation unit. So whenever I say consolidation unit, I'm talking about a company. So data monitor, when I click here, you can see these different tasks performed by this particular local accountant local accountant can perform balance carry forward you can release universal journal data he can collect data from csv files and you can he can calculate the net income he can post manual journal entries and he can run the currency translation so basically he collects data in local currency whenever required you can collect data from uh, group currency also so whatever local currency data we will convert to he will convert to group currency using this task and you can see this hierarchy here which is basically my consolidation structure i have three consolidation groups america group europe group world group in the in the europe group i have two companies switzerland and france and in america group i have usa and canada in the world group I have all these four legal entities plus Germany. Germany is my holding company. So in this 
in these groups every group one holding company will be there for example europe group switzerland is the holding company america group us is the holding company world group germany is the holding company so here you can see whatever parameters i selected global parameters those globe global parameters i can see here the local accountant can see here first the local accountant going to execute data release data release that means data transfer from universal journal table to group data adjustment table so universal journal table when i say ec doc a table group journal tables when i say group journal adjustment table when i say ec doc u table so here if you observe this release universal journal only applicable for germany how can i say only applicable for germany when when there is a red line that means this particular task is not applicable for that particular consolidation unit or company so the for the germany he can just right click here the local accountant and he can test or update same test means it is not going to write that particular result in the table update means it is going to update the result in the table so when i click on update yeah so you can see these different tabs so universal documents total that means it is going to show you all the universal journal data which is going to be so which is it's going to process it is going to release and the documents whatever it's going to post that also you can see here when you click on here so this replicated replication process already completed yeah and also you can any documents different documents i already released the data that's why it is saying replication process is successfully completed any delta so first i released the documents later in fa some documents are posted so the delta documents the new documents which are posted that system will show it here so when they click on save so when when you click on save it will ask you do you want to confirm release the universal documents so when they click on continue the data is moved from act doc a table to act doc u table and then data collection so the next task once the sap data is moved to group journal entries data act doc u table the next one is non sap units you can collect the data non sap units you collect the data using csv files so we can he can right click here he can click on update so there is a flexible upload which is csv files he can click here he will select upload method whether it is a tablet delimited or semicolon delimited file so you have to select that semicolon delimited file and the physical file name physical file name you can get it from your desktop or laptop i mean whatever uh, uh. so here you can select the data the whatever the data you want to load so for example i want to load u00 data so there will be a file like this csv file that file i can select once i select the file i just need to execute then system will update act the few table with the csv data whatever is their sample data so all so it's it's not necessary that in the csv file you have to uh, uh, enter entire uh, trial balance you can you can load one one two line items also not a problem one two gl account balances or fs item balances all csv files should have fs items financial statement items which are consolidation accounts so according to consolidation accounts you have to load this particular data once the data is uploaded using this particular task yeah the next one is calculating the net income so when when you collect the data the data pnl amounts balance sheet amounts system will move to group journal adjustment table however net income is not calculated in the source so the net income i need to calculate here so when you calculate the net income system will post one entry it's going to so for example france you can see the calculation the 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 entry it's going to post 
so it's going to debit it's going to credit balance sheet net income account and it's going to debit p and l net income account so those are these two are financial statement items we call it as selected items there is a configuration to generate this particular thing so one leg is posted in p and l other leg is posted in balance sheet net income and once the net income is done you can validate this particular data validate this in the sense whether your balance sheet is matching sx equal to liabilities plus i equity or not you can execute from the validate reported data so here what what happens here there is there is uh, one app it's going to open to check whether this validation is passed or not it opens a log when when you validate so whatever validation rules you defined it's going to call those validation rules and it is going to give the details whether it's success or not so now you can see here all all success now this is failed for a particular entity it's failed if you want to see the result you can just go inside and you can check why it's failed so here balance sheet right so here 1804 left hand side right hand side right so left hand side 1804682 right hand side 1809682 so there is a 5 5000 difference so we have to analyze i mean the the local accountant has to analyze why this 5000 difference came maybe some 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 wrong data posted so the validation once the validation is completed yeah so validation is not a source stopper so without i mean uh, if validation failed or passed you can you can go to the next task not a problem so manual adjustments so this manual adjustments it opens one one group report i mean group uh, group journal entry screen so here for example i want to post a uh, adjustment for france so i need to right click when i click on uh, update it opens another screen with the journal entry option with the journal entry option you can see the document type it selected here the user can give whatever the fs item with the consolidation unit sub item means transaction types and functional areas and whatever the amount in the local currency if you want to post in group currency just you need to change the document type accordingly you can give multiple line items and then he has to create click on create once you click on create the document is created once the journal entries are done yeah the next thing is currency translation here if you want you can add some automatic reclassification so every month if you want to post some entries depreciation adjustments finished goods adjustments every month you want to post at that time you can create one more task called reclassification and you can execute that then currency translation so this currency translation basically happens for the non-historical accounts and historical accounts separately p and l accounts separately retained earnings separately so for the non-historical accounts so we already configured here which you can just for example if i want to execute for us right click and check this usa conversions so system gives a log where how the system is calculated it, it explains how the system is calculated this uh, group currency amounts and and here in this log you can you can find whether that currency translation difference posted to the same account or any other account now you can see here i have local currency amount group currency amount and you can see here here local currency there is no local currency amount so here local currency amount you will find for here you can see here in the sequence here local currency amount is this and based on the exchange rate based on the which exchange rate whether previous year last period exchange rate or uh, uh, current year closing rate if you want to use so based on the formula it will calculate the gc amount and the translation difference also you can see so non historical account one process historical accounts one process pnl account one process all those so different sequences we configure so this is 
sequence 10, then you can see the sequence 40, 60, 50, all those. Then once the currency translation is done, whatever values are there in the group currency, you can validate. You can validate whatever group currency values. So here reported data basically validates the local currency data and validates standardized data validates group currency data. What it validates, whether your balance sheet is zero or not, whether your assets equal to liabilities plus equity, whether your net income is uh, PNL net income is equivalent to your balance sheet net income or not. These, these items are validated here. There are many validations, some other validations also you can perform. For example, your asset value always greater than your accumulated depreciation. So that kind of validations also you can you can create. So with this, once the local accountant completes this task, the data is ready for each and every consolidation unit. The data is ready in local currency and group currency. For consolidation, we always need data in group currency. So currency translation is the last task which should be performed by this particular local accountant. So you perform the local currency to group currency. Now the data is available. So after this intercompany accountant already performed intercompany transactions reconciliation. So there is an app here where you can see the intercompany reconciliation result. So here intercompany reconciliation. manage reconciliation close. So once the currency is available in the group currency and you want to convert, so intercompany matching and reconciliation can happen in transaction currency, group currency, whatever the currency you want, you can do it. Most of the people do it in the transaction currency. So there is an app where the group accountant can uh, go here. So the group accountant can connect to this particular manage reconciliation close why the group accountant has to so now the second role starts group accountant role right he is he is responsible for consolidating the data before consolidating the data he want to check all the intercompany transactions are matched if differences are there what are those differences so here he can select the reconciliation case and he has to select the period year period here. You can, you can also select consolidation units and partner units. So someone so Someone changed the fiscal year variant. So we have to, the fiscal year variant is configured at the version level. I used K, K4. If we just check, we will we'll go to the next step if uh, someone changed that fiscal year variant. U00. So at the version level, we'll configure the fiscal year variant. So we'll just refresh this result. So to clear the cache, we just press F12 and we have to right click on this. We have to empty the cache. So cache when we have to uh, uh, clear, then it will update here. It's like clear clearing the browsing data. So here again, I'm selecting the reconciliation case. 
zero one three u double zero so now he can he can they can see the data here you can see the consolidation unit and partner unit so there are some intercompany transactions between us and canada and the intercompany transactions difference is 4481 euros reconciliation close status is still still open so that it should be closed and elimination also not not done if you observe here france to switzerland difference is 1102 year 1102 euros intercompany transaction difference so the group accountant can check this elimination status and reconciliation close status and also switzerland to france 5 euros so for example if if the if the person if the group accountant want to understand what are the reasons for this 102 euros because there is a difference but he want to understand why the difference is then you can you can get drilled down to the transaction level that option they have given so here 102 difference and you can you can see the uh, you can any comments you can see here if you if if you want to drill down further you can just click on this 102 euros then it will go to the balances level now you can see here it's come down and again you can go down so i'm not going to details uh, 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 later we will go through i'm just showing how the assignments and uh, all those things so here you can see the documents whatever the documents posted by the system yeah so last uh, 30 days or whatever the time and he can process you can see the items and here line item wise the details are there he will he will you can he can see the data each and every line item. so once the intercompany matching and reconciliation is done once when, when he checks that reconciliation status is closed then he will start consolidation activities who will start group accountant is going to start consolidation activities now where where are these consolidation activities under auditing you have consolidation process so the group accountant is going to connect to consolidation monitor the local accountant connected to the data monitor the group accountant is going to connect to the consolidation monitor so click on the consolidation monitor so, sir, i have a question Yep. Uh, this uh, intercommunal cancellation is dependent on ICMR implementation or this is part of the standard where we can reconcile this intercommunal things? So both are independent. If you want, you can. So now the tight integration is there. Uh, without ICMR, you can directly uh, start uh, uh, your consolidation activities. Not at all a problem. So ICMR is a separate application. It's not part of group, uh, group reporting. Okay, okay. ICMR, like but FI it, also, it is, you have ICMR. Is this enhancing the uh, consolidation process exposure or? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So second is uh, I have a, a few questions in the data side, basically data monitor side at the at the local accountant, basically. Uh, when we are leasing to the AC Doka U, basically, right? This means whatever the parameter we are setting, like uh, fiscal year we are setting and month we are setting. In this mm -hmm. case, system only transfer for transfer the data for that month for that fiscal year only, right? Correct. Correct. Uh, before that, definitely we have to we have to upload the opening balances as a balance carry forward. Uh, as mean we need to prepare the balances for the complete consolidation balances, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. And second thing is on uh, on basically before transferring. Uh, can you can, can park your question. You can ask at the, at the end of the session. Let Let's complete the entire overview. At the end of the okay. session, you can you can ask. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here you can see different intercompany eliminations. See this particular consolidation monitor, which is designed designed for the group account. Yeah. So here it displays only the consolidation groups. Right here, America group, Europe group, world group. So three groups. So here you can see the different elimination activities. A different elimination task. So intercompany elimination balance sheet. So this is the task which is tightly integrated with ICMR. So two-sided eliminations we call it. And you have you can see the dividend eliminations, income expenses eliminations. So this is 
profit on inventory elimination. So IC elimination, inventory profit. So that that recently in 2021 SAP introduced. So that we can we can execute. So whenever you execute, for example, here you can uh, you can test it. Same like uh, data monitor. So whatever the entry it is going to post, elimination entry, profit elimination. So if this IPA has a capability. So whenever it is posting profit uh, elimination, so inventory adjustment it is going to uh, do in the buyer books and net income uh, uh, adjustment it will do in the seller, seller books. It has that capability. It, it, this IPI has a capability to read the percentages, margin percentages or markup percentages from the seller books. So it's automatically generated those entries. Then you can perform balance sheet eliminations once all these balance sheet eliminations are done you have to maintain your consolidation structure percentages basically so in this europe group switzerland is the holding company and they invested 75 percent in france so now i can execute the investment activities consolidation of investment activities so this is the task which basically executes consolidation of investments it eliminates investments capital and it will post goodwill it will calculate the goodwill and post it will calculate the minority so here when when the when the right click so the user just the once you configure the entries the user is going to execute this particular task system is automatically generate and update the entries so we are automating this consolidation of investments and you can see the elimination entries are posted different different amounts investments goodwill all calculated and and nca part also calculated you can see these different things so once everything is done yeah once uh, all these tasks are completed you can generate the reports as i said like in the group reports option so there are two apps developed by uh, these are the two apps group data analysis and group data analysis with reporting rules these are the two apps developed by hcp so group data analysis this app you can use for the pnl statement and balance sheet consolidated pnl statement or individual pnl statement consolidated balance sheet or individual balance sheet group report uh, group data analysis with reporting rules uh, designed by sap for the cash flow changes in equity and comprehensive income individual entity or group now let's go to the group data analysis so here same like uh, 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 excel pivot table or you can see analysis for office same way you can you can see the rows and columns yeah, you can you can uh, you can drag drop and you can remove so if, for example if you want to remove from the row axis you can click here from the column axis you can click here so here data analysis we can we can go here so i already created some bookmarks for example i want to see uh, the result of consolidation of investments yeah so all all how the consolidated financial statement is generated so i can i can click on this bookmark it automatically creates that particular consolidation of investments report so consolidated financial statement basically you can see here so in i have financial statement item partner units and 00, zero is the data which is loaded and whatever 20 is there it's the eliminations two-sided eliminations whatever 30 is there that is basically consolidation of investments at the end when you total you can see the total books so here you can observe 172100 which is investment in subsidiaries right switzerland investment in france around 150000 at that at the consolidation level the investment is eliminated system calculates the goodwill system calculates the nsa part and also if you want to see your uh, elimination data so this is another bookmark i created so here basically you can create your Consolidated balance sheet and PNL statement and some detailed reports also you can see. So here you have consolidation unit, here you have partner unit and whatever data loaded, whatever elimination system posted that you can see. If I want to check the cash flow, 
here when I want to check the cash flow, I can I can go to group reports, group data analysis with reporting rules. So here you have to select reporting rule variant and whatever the reporting item hierarchy you want. So for the cash flow, I created one hierarchy, cash flow hierarchy. I will select the cash flow hierarchy. And when you click on go, you it system displays the cash flow. This is the cash flow hierarchy. You can remove whatever FS item document type available because I want cash flow, not uh, financial statement items. I need reported items. So you have also one option called uh, deferred layout, defer layout update. So if you select that one, it automatically, after your changes only, it will refresh. Currently I have not activated, so every click it's uh, refreshing. So here you can select reporting items. I'm just adding to the rows. Now you can see the cash flow generated automatically. So this is entire which which group so you can select whatever the group you want so here it's for all all it's it's not for the consolidation group for all the units it is showing if you add the consolidation units in the rows it will show each consolidation unit cash flow columns let's add the columns you can also select the consolidation group whether europe group or america group so for that particular group it will show the cash flow so see, you can see the investing activities, operating activities, financing activities. So, and it is also not showing, it's suppose if it is not showing the description properly, so right click, you can select display long description, right? It shows properly. You can see the cash flow right so this is entire process right so how the local accountant and group accountant going to start this uh, this complete their activities so with this we completed legal consolidation overview yeah so as i said yesterday next session will be on coming saturday so whomever interested, just send an email to bpc.kiran.gmail.com, right? So so when you send that email, uh, so preferably after this session, if you send that email, I will send all the details, uh, uh, all the details to you with, with this uh, demo and uh, day one recording. Yeah, any questions now? Hi, Kiran. Yeah, Kiran. In the data, data yeah. 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 Go ahead, go ahead now. Okay. Only one. Hour. Yeah. Uh, Kiran, yeah. in the data monitor tasks, uh, there mm. was intercompany task, right? So that no, is data not monitor in... only. No, data monitor you will not have intercompany tasks. Okay, in the consolidation. data monitor consolidation only you will have consolidation monitor only you have intercompany tasks, elimination tasks. These are data monitor tasks you will not. Have oh, tasks. okay. Okay, and that intercompany uh, tasks are not related to ICMR or is that integrated with ICMR? So, elimination, intercompany eliminations, whatever available in the intercom, I mean, consultation monitor. So, you have two options whether you want integration with ICMR or without integration with uh, ICMR. Mm -hmm. Both the options are available. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone else is asking here. Yeah. Sir, one question. Yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, we have a start beginning, like hmm? configuration and all. Configuration and all. Sorry. 
are we going to start from the beginning right so how to yeah, yeah. create global Today parameter just end user hub. yeah everything we are going to start so it's it starts okay. like uh, uh, like uh, you are going to learn the product so i have to start from the basics yes. that kiran sure. so thank you yeah. so can i ask you that uh, the transfer currency transfers will also occur in here or no currency trans uh, translations right you are no, talking transfers, about transfers like a tax and differences you know discrepancy differences and also taxes in uh, intercompany transfers does it happen in the group reporting or no it's in the finance okay okay uh kiran uh, yes. how detailed is your notes can you show one or two pages how detailed it is and uh, kiran uh, while uploading yeah. flat file actually how does system knows like uh, the data is uh, i mean mapping how that will be like unlike like dpc there will be some transformation files and conversion files right so i'll explain in the, yeah, yeah yeah i'll explain okay. in the in the session yeah okay so currently you just uploaded everything goes to correctly so that is the main reason i did not observe that one so if we go with yeah, yeah. i mean yeah i'll explain there I'll should explain be some that. process right yeah yeah okay yeah and kiran uh, uh, translation currency translation in yeah. fi we have revaluation and translation right so yeah. if it is done there then it does not have to be done here or how is that both options are available so either one so it, place it, it could be done that is it. yeah for cons some consolidations you want a group currency from the source some consolidation you want Uh, a currency translation in uh, group reporting those that's also possible all all consolidation units you can perform so this is the task so step 1 and the exercises and whatever relevant uh, 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 videos and what are the roles required and uh, so whatever the master data tables so it it goes like this so uh, every every step for you have configuration steps configurations i will i will share the document Can show can one, at least one page of configuration document. So uh, that is S4F95 configuration document. So, so that's uh, SAP standard material. I follow. Thank you. Yeah. Kiran, can we uh, do can, one example um, in this um, workshop? The Uh, transfer uh, currency price transfers um, because we have intercompany and also tax. So and this, this, companies. yeah, correct. This is this is only group reporting, legal consolidation. Whatever task you are saying, that's not relevant to group reporting. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, hi, Kiran. Uh, Kiran, yeah. will you integrate this uh, group reporting uh, to the SSC or not? No. It's only the product training group reporting. So integration of SSC and the group reporting, that's not. Of this. Okay. Yeah. So, Kiran, I I have one quick question. Yeah. 